got there in the end? Yeah, I think, um, like I said before, it's the most important thing was to get the win. Um, in an ideal world, we would have loved to have played better um, and won by a few goals. But the most important thing is we got the three points. We put ourselves right back in, involved with the group. We're only three points behind the leaders. So, um, yeah, everything to play for. The performance wasn't the best, was it? There were a few critics, certainly online as well, about fans, about the performance could have been better. How do you respond to that? Um, yeah, it could have been better, but um, Azerbaijan make it difficult for teams. Um, they they made it very difficult for Croatia. At Croatia, I think um, they only won with two one with the last kind of goal as well. So um, yeah, we understand we understand the, the fans' frustrations, but football's not so simple anymore. It's uh, every team has their style of play, and, and Azerbaijan are, are kind of a frustrating team to play against. They make it difficult for you and. The reality is you need to win a football match and we did that and um, yeah, we put ourselves back in still with a with a good chance of qualifying and uh, that's what we what we plan to do. I suppose part of it is people look at the, the sort of um, attacking flair that Wales is and you're aware of it, or you're part of it, but Daniel James, Harry Wilson, Tom Rollins, maybe feel there should be more goals. Um, yeah, but if football was that simple, then yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't be very fun to watch. So um, yeah, we understand that yeah, things could be better, but the reality is football's not easy all the time, and it's not easy to just go and score five goals. So um, yeah, it's things that we we have to work on. We have to keep improving. Um, so yeah, we just have to keep plugging away, working hard, and training, and and try and bring that form to the pitch. And yeah. In, in other games, we might score four or five, and in others, we might scrape a, a 91st minute 1 0 win. At um, the end of the day, the most important thing is the three points, and the, the overall objective is, is to qualify for the Euros, and you, you get that by getting three points. Do you feel the, the team is progressing? So uh, the right? Yeah, I think we're, we're, we're still working on things. There's still things that we're improving on, and um, yeah, I think we're progressing. We're, we're working on his kind of style of play, what we, what he wants us to do, and um, yeah, sometimes it does take a bit of time. It does take a bit of getting used to, and um, I think that's why it's it's good now to have a, a friendly. We can we can still work on things rather than just just training because a match situation is always more intense, more difficult to do than than to do in training. So um, yeah, tomorrow's game will be very important for us in terms of how we how we're playing, how we're working on things, what we want to do in training and bring them to the game. So, uh, and also, we still want to kind of keep that winning mentality going, get that momentum building and, and by winning games, that's what you do. What would you describe as the right big style? Um, just things where we're trying to play quick football, trying to move the ball very quickly and, and yeah, trying to create space for the attackers. Um, I think you, you've seen it more in, in, in certain games than others, but... Um, yeah, as I said, if football was that easy, <laughs> it wouldn't be fun to watch. So yeah, we're working on things. Um, we understand some teams are going to be more frustrating to play against than others, but um, yeah, we're working hard. We're doing everything we can to to do as best we can. Uh, big one in the group, Hungary, Slovakia tomorrow. Going to draw in that one maybe, or and can Azerbaijan upset Croatia? Um, yeah, they can. They almost did did last time. They're they're a very frustrating team, Azerbaijan. As I said, they're they're not a bad footballing team. They play some good stuff, but they do frustrate you. So um, yeah, ideally we want results to go our way. It's it's normal to think that way, but um, yeah, what will happen will happen, and and when we play, that's what we have to do is concentrate on ourselves. And are you ready to start tomorrow if required? Yeah, of course. I'm I'm available. I'm fit, ready to go. Um, uh, obviously, it's the manager's decision what he wants to do, whether he wants to try other players out and, and give them minutes or yeah, keep things maybe similar and, and work on a few things. I'm not too sure what his, his decision is, but um, I think everybody in the squad's fit and ready to go. 32nd goal on Friday for your country. You're already the record goal scorer. How many can you get? How many goals have you got a target in mind for? I mean, 50 would be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it would be, but <laughs> means I've got to play for a lot longer. But um, yeah, no, I, I've I've kind of got a little target in my head, but um, it's kind of just one of those personal goals that yeah, if I achieve it, amazing. If I don't, I don't. But um, it's something I would like to do. But uh, the most important thing is is to win games for for this country to 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 give the fans things to cheer about. And um, as long as we're trying to, we're, as long as we're winning games, and I don't mind if I score or not. You want to share the target just with me now? <laughs> 
No. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Uh, and last one, I mean, you talk about the important thing is, is the, you want to do what you did in 2016, don't you? You want the qualifier, and do you still feel in your, your heart this is, this is going to happen? Yeah, definitely, otherwise I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be wasting my time, but um, no, I love playing for my country. I love trying to qualify for major tournaments. We've, we've been doing it since I started and, and obviously to have a taste of it in, in Euro 2016 gives you that hunger to do it again and to, to experience what we did. So um, yeah, we all still fully believe we can. We hope the public still believe and, and give us all the support we need because they are literally the 12th man. They give us that extra bit of energy that we need on the pitch like they did on the um, on Friday night. So uh, they, they really got behind us got us to, to give that extra bit of kind of energy to push over the line and at the end of the day it got us a goal so um, yeah the fans play a massive importance in our in the way we play and um, we'll, we're going to need that all the way through if we want to qualify yeah. Obviously Wales are now expecting not just their football team but their rugby team to always do well do you feel like with your team at the moment there needs to be just a little bit of patience from the Welsh public going forward? Um, I can understand kind of both sides. Um, yeah, we we've kind of put that expectation on ourselves by playing so well and, and doing so well in the past. So um, yeah, we 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 need to be patient ourselves because yeah, we understand the process that we're going through. But um, yeah, we we still want to win games. We still want to do well, and and I think we we enjoy the pressure. We enjoy um, our our fans giving us that pressure because in the past maybe we haven't had that because we weren't doing so well. So. By having the expectation from our fans um, shows that we're doing well and shows that we're capable of, of doing better. So um, yeah, it's something that we need to embrace and we need to, to, to enjoy the experience and yeah, and just enjoy our football. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, hi Gareth. Uh, the manager suggested before the game the other night that you were playing perhaps missed the scores once as you twice as you did for the playoff, but you go on and get a few more. Is that, do you, are you a sort of a streaky scorer? Can I see some more goals tomorrow night? Um, yeah, I think scoring goals and, and playing well breeds confidence. And I think every player with more confidence plays well and scores more goals. So, um, yeah, ideally I can score a few more and, and keep scoring and, uh, and helping the team. But I think the most important thing is, is no matter who scores, the team wins. And, um, yeah, we're all working towards that goal. And, yeah. Three points in every game is the most important thing, not who scores. You see, when you're scoring, you've got that confidence. Like you said, contrast with the summer, was it a lot harder for you in the summer playing in those two games, um, Croatia and Hungary? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, as I said before in, in the last press conference, that going into to the summer games, I didn't quite have that physical fitness where I wanted to be, which, yeah, I think when you're not fully fit in terms of match fitness, then you're not able to do kind of what you want to and you get a bit frustrated and yeah it's kind of a bit of a downward spiral but um yeah those games I said have gone now and, and I'm in good form I'm I'm fully fit I've I've got the matches behind like, under my belt and um yeah going into these games now with a bit more confidence and yeah that obviously helps with with being able to score and and physically being able to do what you want to do any more questions okay thank you Sean Sharp good thank you